Dramatic kidnapping on the high seas. Two Americans taken hostage, singled out by pirates attacking the ship. ABC's Brian Ross has the latest for us. U.S. officials believe the two Americans have been taken into the hard-to-reach mangrove swamps of Nigeria. Safe havens for a number of pirate and militant groups that have made a fortune kidnapping American and foreign oil workers in the region. They've really started to get more sophisticated in how they operate. Uh, the communications are better, they're, more, they're better funded. They don't take ships in West Africa. They're really just going after ransoms. The Americans were taken off the oil rig supply ship, the Sea Retriever, in broad daylight, about 15 miles off the coast of Nigeria. U.S. military officials say the pirates sorted the crew by nationalities and took captive only the two Americans. You take an American, you get a good price, but at the same time, you can bring a lot of heat on you, too. The U.S. says there is no current plan for a military rescue, unlike the dramatic case portrayed in the current hit movie Captain Phillips, when U.S. Navy SEALs were brought in to rescue the captain from Somali pirates. The actual captain, Richard Phillips, told ABC News correspondent Pierre Thomas that pirates are now just part of the job for a sea captain. If you don't want to deal with piracy, you, you, you need to, to, to get another job. In fact, piracy on the high seas seems to be a booming criminal business, especially in the area off Nigeria, through which some 30 percent of the U.S. oil supply moves. It's a very attractive place to operate in terms of the ransoms that you can get and the damage that you can do to the industry. So that's a big problem. This morning, while Nigerian security forces search for the two men, FBI agents have been assigned overseas and here in the U.S. to help the families of the two sailors as they wait for the pirates to make contact and to learn what it will take to get their loved ones back, Robin. And we all hope that will be soon. All right, Brian, thank you.